A white dwarf at its surface can be a half a million degrees. It's even hotter in the interior. Fresh observations have thrust V. Sagiti back into center stage, and this time, the tension is unmistakable. Astronomers are watching a bizarre binary system that seems to be racing toward a violent turning point. Stars that get too close to a black hole get torn apart. They sort of get attacked by the black hole, and some of that material is also getting launched off in very powerful winds and jets and streams getting out. The signals point to intensifying matter exchange, chaotic stellar winds, and an expanding cloud of gas enveloping both stars. Clues that a nova may ignite far sooner than anyone once expected setting the system on a long, dramatic road toward an explosion bright enough to be seen in daylight. In this video, we'll walk through what scientists uncovered, why it has them genuinely excited and uneasy, and where this unfolding story is headed. To understand why this matters, we have to start with the latest observing campaign, which set out to finally pin down a system that has defied clean explanations for decades. Using the X-Shooter instrument on the Very Large Telescope, researchers tracked V. Sagiti continuously for four months. For the first time, they captured a near-complete view of the system across multiple wavelengths, allowing them to isolate physical processes that had previously been obscured by its wild brightness swings. What emerged was a clear picture of matter flowing between the two stars, and flowing fast. The companion star is dumping material onto the white dwarf at an exceptionally high rate. That transfer, already known to define V. Sagiti, is now anything but orderly. The disk spiraling around the white dwarf surges and stutters, its speed and brightness flickering over short timescales. Instead of a smooth stream, the material behaves like a storm, reinforcing the idea that the system has entered a rapid and unstable phase of evolution. The white dwarf is being fed faster than it can safely handle. The team also confirmed something astronomers had long suspected but never nailed down, a vast disk of gas encircling both stars. This shared envelope proves that matter isn't just falling inward, it's also being flung outward in large amounts. Stretching far beyond the gap between the two stars, the disk tells a story of sustained loss rather than a single outburst. That realization changes how we see V. Sagiti. Its brilliance isn't just the glow of accretion, it's the visible aftermath of a binary system shedding mass through powerful, ongoing outflows. The entire structure is bleeding energy and material into space. Spectral data also reshaped assumptions about the stars themselves. Earlier models painted an uneven pairing, with a small white dwarf dominated by a much larger companion. The new analysis overturns that view. Both stars appear to weigh in at roughly the mass of the Sun, creating a far more balanced and far more volatile partnership. This symmetry neatly explains the system's intense luminosity and its strong, super-soft X-ray emission. It also makes the physics easier to model, since neither star can be ignored in driving the instability now unfolding. Together, these findings finally snap into place. V. Sagiti emerges as a tight, fast-changing binary locked in extreme matter exchange, marked by violent accretion and relentless mass loss. Everything about it points toward an impending nova, with the longer-term possibility of a far more powerful, merger-driven blast. What truly sets it apart is its persistent brightness and its status as a super-soft X-ray source. Only a handful of binaries emit X-rays this way, produced by steady nuclear burning on a white dwarf's surface, and V. Sagiti outshines them all. That makes it a rare and invaluable laboratory for probing how white dwarfs survive, adapt, or fail under relentless pressure. At the heart of the debate now lies a single, pressing mystery. What this system truly is, and what it is about to become. For years, astronomers were divided between two competing explanations. One portrayed V. Sagide as a white dwarf locked in an intense feeding relationship with a companion, while the other imagined two massive, scorching stars masquerading as something else through sheer brightness alone. The new evidence has finally tipped the balance. Precise mass measurements, combined with the unmistakable signature of a shared disk of gas, point decisively toward the white dwarf interpretation. Its spectral fingerprints, restless fluctuations, 
and distinctive X-ray glow all tell the same story, closing the door on most alternative ideas. This breakthrough matters because V. Sagittae offers a rare window into what happens when a binary system becomes trapped in a relentless cycle of mass transfer. In many such systems, the result is a series of repeating nova outbursts. Only a select few, however, stay on a trajectory that ends in a catastrophic union, and V. Sagittae appears to be one of those exceptional cases. One of the most compelling clues lies in its orbit. Decades of measurements reveal that the stars are drawing closer together, their orbital period steadily shrinking in a way that can be tracked and predicted. This slow tightening is more than a curiosity, it's a countdown. If nothing interrupts the process, the pair will eventually reach a point where separation is no longer possible. By watching this unfold, astronomers can tackle much larger questions about the universe. Many of its most violent phenomena, certain supernovae, compact object collisions, even some sources of gravitational waves, are born in close binary systems. V. Sagittae lets researchers observe such a system before disaster strikes, offering a living preview of the steps that lead to cosmic upheaval. Catching it at this stage also helps scientists recognize the warning signs that precede major eruptions elsewhere. At the same time, the system challenges theoretical models of how white dwarfs behave under extreme conditions. How steadily can nuclear burning persist on their surfaces? How quickly can mass pile up? What precise tipping point ignites a nova or something even larger? V. Sagittae's extreme behavior provides real constraints that equations and simulations alone can't supply. In this way, the system becomes a crucial link between abstract theory and the messy reality of the cosmos, showing how compact binaries march toward their most explosive outcomes. In the near future, the expectation is a nova. As material continues to accumulate on the white dwarf, pressure and heat build until a thermonuclear flash erupts, blasting away the excess and sending the system flaring dramatically brighter. Given the current rate of mass inflow and the growing instability, astronomers believe such an outburst could occur within the next few decades. When it does, it won't be subtle. V. Sagittae would brighten enough to be seen with the naked eye signaling a dramatic turning point in its story. Beyond that lies an even more profound fate. If orbital energy keeps draining away as it has been, the stars will ultimately collide. That final merger is expected to unleash a supernova so brilliant it could shine through daylight, marking the violent end of a system we are only just beginning to understand. Earlier estimates suggest the final explosion could arrive near the close of this century, but no one is pretending the clock is precise. The pace of matter transfer, along with how calmly, or violently, nuclear burning unfolds on the white dwarf surface, will ultimately decide the schedule. Even with that uncertainty, the system's overall trajectory is no longer in doubt. The observations all point in the same direction, giving astronomers something exceedingly rare. A nearby system clearly marching toward catastrophe. That makes V. Sagittii an extraordinary target. Few objects allow scientists to watch a likely supernova precursor evolve in real time, with enough clarity to test ideas rather than speculate. Ongoing surveillance will sharpen models of how matter flows between stars, how orbits decay, and what specific conditions ignite explosive outbursts. Because this system sits relatively close to us, the data gathered before and after its expected nova will be far richer than anything gleaned from distant or long-finished stellar explosions. On a larger cosmic stage, V. Sagittii may help answer which kinds of binary partnerships give rise to the brightest or strangest supernovae. Should it end its life in a merger-driven blast, the result may resemble those puzzling stellar explosions that resist neat classification. Cracking its story could unlock clues to many other fleeting, enigmatic flashes already spotted across the galaxy. For now, astronomers are watching intently. Subtle shifts in spectral lines, tiny changes in orbital motion, each new signal tightens the predictions and sharpens understanding of what will ultimately pull the trigger. 
V Sagittii is no longer drifting quietly through space. It is destabilizing, accelerating, and transforming. All signs point to a nova first, followed by a slow but relentless journey toward a supernova. If that path holds, this system may reward humanity with one of the most breathtaking celestial displays of the century, an ending written in fire, witnessed from Earth. 